Good morning, Tofu. You sure you wanna do this? So today we're headed off to Soho to shoot a commercial space with Rachel, who is an Asian at Lee and Associates. The biggest difference between a commercial agent and a residential agent is a uh, commercial agent has no problem telling me to be on site at 9.30 a.m. and a residential agent isn't even awake at 9.30 a.m. Bye, Tofu. Normally I don't like tofu being out unless it's over 40 degrees, but it's, it's a warm 38. So he uh, convinced me to let him out this morning. I only have a, I only have one shoot today. Look at the lens. I only have one quick shoot today in Soho. I might run into B&H to pick up something for tomorrow's shoot. So I should be home relatively soon. So we're gonna take the A train into Soho. Luckily it's a straight shot to Canal Street which is great because it's really too early and too cold for me to be out here in the world. So we just got off at Canal Street. We're headed over to, uh, we're headed over to West Broadway. I'm not gonna have time to get coffee. I really didn't want you to see me like this. But uh, it's too early to try and look cute. We're almost there, but we don't have time for coffee because, you know, I'm never late to a job. So I uh, need to make sure I show up at 9.30 for Rachel, the commercial agent who wanted to shoot at 9.30 in the morning. I didn't want to record without my glasses. I generally think I look better with my glasses, uh, but also I can't see. So, you know, there's that. So we're meeting Rachel at 355 Broadway. That's 325. So my guess is that 355 is gonna be this way. So before we get there, I wanna tell you a little story about 355 Broadway. I've actually photographed this listing before, but at the time there was a hair salon tenant and um, I don't know if it was a language barrier or a communications issue or I don't know if they were being evicted for non-payment. I don't, I don't honestly know the situation, but they were not they weren't very nice to me, um, which is fine, whatever. Uh, I kind of know that dealing with a tenant that um, it's not going to be the best situation. But um, they're gone. And so now I'm reshooting it with Rachel completely vacant. Uh, I am curious to see what the owners have done with the space now that there's no tenant in place. Let's go take a look. I'm gonna text Rachel and let her know that I'm here. Hey Rachel, exclamation point. I'm downstairs if you're here already, period. If you're not, comma, I'll wait for you out front, period. Fun fact, I used to live on this block right here, um, right around 9-11. That actually, I lived on Room Street uh, at Sixth Avenue. So, if that's any uh, indication of what you can see in terms of the World Trade Center, 
Is that it? That's the World Trade Center. So I was able to see the towers falling from my my corner where I lived. A fun fact, when when this when this building opened up, it was originally a Tommy Hilfiger store and now it's a Sirhan. I think that's how you say it, Sirhan, Sirhan. Now it's a Sirhan office. That was fun, right? Okay, so I totally told Rachel to pretend that um, she is already here and I mic'd her up. So we're gonna act like this is totally normal. <laughs> exactly. All right, all right, so now I'm gonna walk in. So this is the second floor at 355 West Broadway. Is it the second? Yes. What floor do you think that that was the third? It's not the third? It's not. I'm a hundred percent sure. The hair salon has moved to the third floor. Oh, they're here still. <laughs> they're on the third floor. They're rude, it's okay. Um, okay, so we just recently white boxed the space completely got rid of everything, cleaned it up, painted it white, and now it's just kind of an open space, open box. So it's complete open space. We have one room in the front that could be used as storage, but also could be used as a private office or kind of a meeting room because it does have a window. And these windows look out over West Broadway. There's a bunch of exposed brick here, which is a really nice detail. We've got an elevator, that's kind of cool. So the elevator opens directly into- Into the space, yeah. So private elevator that you can key off to open up into your space. Kind of have, you could do like a reception or a warm, what do you call it? Warm seating? You know when people say there's like, no, I don't know, forget it. Okay, this looks shitty. Um, but- Bathroom. Private bathroom. Okay kitchen and kind of the open space back here if this was going to be used for an office tenant could build a room back here a conference room maybe a private office um and maybe the best part of the space private terrace it's a little chilly um Yeah, a lot of space. Yeah. Put some couches out here and make it cute. So what's the total square footage? It's 2,500 square feet. What's the ideal tenant? Um, the ideal tenant, I think, would be a creative tenant. Um, we're kind of in the heart of Soho in a boutique loft building. Uh, I think creative tenant would be great showroom. That's kind of the first thing that comes to mind. Or an office tenant, a small, maybe a tech firm. Um, could build some rooms, keep it open space as well. Let's think about the first setup. I'm trying to think of the photos from before because they were so cute. I can pull them up. I can too. Okay. It was a cute space. I know. Maybe like something like that too. Okay. It's a cool one. Well, see, here's the thing. Part of the reason they're cool is because the way it's furnished. I... So we can set up out. Like something like that way too. Okay. I could also do something like this. Yeah, that's better. Like this better? Yeah. Because there were definitely um, things I couldn't do because he had people here. Yeah. So I was like, well, he's clearly not going to help me. He's not going to move. Yeah, and, and he is not in any way, shape, or form going to help me get the shot that I need. <laughs> All right, so looking at this, do you want to see more ceiling or more floor, or do we like this mix? That's just good. Does it make sense the way that I have it set up? Could we see the door, which is a big... Yeah, thing. that's good. Yeah, I think it's good. Makes your heart sing? Totally. <laughs> the best song ever. And number two is in the can. Great. And it looks like that. Well, obviously, you bring it up. That's great. What shot number three? That you get to hold it. The bathroom was cute. It was so... Now it's just not like... Now it's sad. People really like a private bathroom. Okay. So they really do like a private bathroom. Is there a light in that? 
Okay. Oh my god, it's sad. All right, so... Can you make it not look sad? We can make it information. Just, like, get, like, a little piece of it. Sliver. A piece of bathroom. <laughs> Just a piece of bathroom. Just a sliver. What I'm going to do is I'm going to... What we're seeing is a toilet and a door, <laughs> which is fine. Our other <laughs> option is to come this way where we have a little bit more context. Yeah, that's better. And we're showing not a toilet. That's better. Okay, so... Can mm, that's good, that's good. Like a little sliver of the toilet. <laughs> Just pissed the toilet. Um... <laughs> Is this a shot? Yeah, I think that's good. Or like that. We want the front door and the elevator. So we're looking at something. Look at this. Yeah, wow, this is really adding up. Is this making sense? This this yeah. probably is the most in Should we go for uh no never mind. You're right. Yeah. What? No. What were we gonna say? Nothing. I was supposed to say Go this way, but then to get this, but also you can't see the elevator. If you can't see the elevator, we can see the outdoor space in this shot, which is kind of cool. I know, but we just saw the outdoor space. But there's nothing else to see. Okay. So it was over, and it actually went really well. Space was pretty bare because it was cleaned up after the air salon left. So now I got to figure out what I'm doing for the rest of the day. I really need to go and pick up this gear from B&H for a photo shoot tomorrow. I'm just really, I don't know what I am. I don't know what I am. All right, so we're gonna take the, uh, the A or the C train up to B&H. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, so now we're gonna take the Uptown AC to 34th Street and pick up a little piece of kit from b &H Photo. So we are at, uh, we're at 34th and 8th Avenue, headed to b &H to pick up a piece of kit that I need for a photo shoot tomorrow where I'm working with a friend to photograph him painting. And we want to set up the camera above him shooting a time-lapse video. So I'm buying gear to uh, help mount the camera in the hair. Whatever it takes to justify buying gear I'm totally down for a male. I think that's a thumbnail shot right there. Opening the door. Okay, so in and out of B&H in like four minutes. It's hard to beat that. But I did get the part. Um, I don't actually think you want to see the part. It's not that interesting, but I'm very excited to have it. So now I got to figure out lunch. And I would prefer to eat in this neighborhood only because I want to get right back onto the A train, which is the train that I live off of. So I think I'm going to um, eat at this uh, Pokey Works place. So we're gonna get some lunch now. Okay, so we are not doing Pokeworks because they don't open until 11. Well, we can do Pokeworks, but I gotta go back at 11. Do I wanna wait eight minutes? Or do I wanna just go home? It's probably gonna take me eight minutes to decide. I am, however, right in front of a Starbucks. So I'm trying to figure out if I should get a coffee now out of boredom and then go get a both your works. Let me see how much money I have on my Starbucks card. Right. 
I have six dollars on my Starbucks card, so no Starbucks. I don't think I can buy anything for six dollars, and I don't want to reload my card. Okay, it's eleven sixteen. I have wasted sufficient time scrolling on Instagram, and now I'm gonna actually go have lunch. And that actually looks really good. Okay, and we're at it. All right, lunch is done. It was actually pretty good. I'm not used to cauliflower as a rice substitute. It was kind of expensive because of that too. So now I'm hopping onto the A train, heading back to bedside. And uh, I will begin the process of looking for tofu. So 34th Street is actually one of the weirder stations in the system because this is the local platform. That's the express platform going in the same direction, which means when you get into the system, you need to decide whether you want to get onto the express or the local track because they're not they're split which is weird i don't i don't understand why it's like that most of the stations the local and the express trains are on the same track well on the same platform so you can get on whichever one shows up first in this case you have to make a conscious decision and you have to live with it. I would normally take the express train home, but in this case, I actually want to sit down. So I'm going to take a local, which will take longer, but I can sit. took a nice nap. So we're back in bedside, headed home. The real question is where Tofu is. And if he's going to be waiting to come in as soon as I get home, or if I'm going to spend the rest of the night trying to find him. All right, now we're going to see if we can find Tofu. I don't think Tofu is out. So my guess is Tofu is not out because he would have found me by now if he were outside. And also, it's actually pretty warm. It's 43 degrees. So he's probably fine. Which means I'm going to end up looking for him all night long. So I'm going home, going inside, and I will deal with Tofu Ming. All right, well, we got a ping from Tofu's uh, air tag. Let's go see if we can find him. Keys, phone. Hey, Tofu. How are you? Can we go in? Okay. Hi. Hi. Come on. Come on. Oh. <laughs> okay, we're in. We're in, we're in. Okay, we're good. Come on, mister. What do you think of this? Push down. Hey YouTube, welcome back. We're now gonna take a look at the pictures that I shot with Rachel at the commercial space in Soho. This is now the second time that I photographed this listing for Lean Associates. But the first time I photographed it, there was a tenant in place 
and you know tenants in place aren't necessarily the nicest people and in this case the guy was a fucking dick and he didn't make the shoot fun he actually was incredibly rude the entire time while the pictures were nice the brokerage had trouble using them because the design was so specific to the hair salon so what they ended up doing was they completely emptied the space out repainted it and we rephotographed it as a completely empty space but let's go through the shots so this is 355 west broadway and this is in soho and the agent is rachel kirkham and she's part of the nyc office team at lee and associates so this is the first shot that i took back when we had the first shoot it was a hair salon you know, what's really great about this is that the outside view is just absolutely amazing. It's a second floor looking onto trees. The actual decorating of the space was nice. So, I mean, this to me was a perfect shoot other than the mean ass tenants, but that's not really the point. You know, the space itself, there wasn't a whole lot of, I mean, there was a lot of room, but there wasn't a whole lot of like, individual spaces so each of the shots here we basically took to add on to the fact that you could see into this really great view of the street and unfortunately this is the shot that i had to take when everything was removed so you can still see the view out the window you know but there's no nice shrubs and stuff like that you know this is the space and it's completely fine but you know the decorated staged occupied shot looked a lot nicer here we are looking into the back. Like I said, they did a really good job of decorating. Obviously, I would have liked to have had an actual flower in the orchid, but whatever. So this is the shot basically looking to showcase the really long room and the outdoor space. And this is another shot of the outdoor space. Unfortunately, I couldn't actually go outside because it was actually raining that day, but you can certainly see that there's a really nice outdoor space included with the the rental and then as you can see it was really you know a really nice hair salon a lot of plants part of what made it really hard to shoot this the first time was that it was not only occupied but there were actually paying customers getting their hair done at the salon during the photo shoot so the tenant was just really mean really nasty really completely a horrible human being but the pictures are nice so there's that and unfortunately this is what it looks like when the place is completely empty i don't know how they're using these like i don't know if they're showing both sets of photos but man it looks so sad when it's completely empty whatever this was the elevator and it was nice because i i think the elevator came right into the unit there's no door and then Here's the thing. I wanted to show that there was an elevator, but there was nothing really interesting happening in the room. I figured, well, let's show the elevator in context. Let's show the elevator, how it's connected to the space. And then, you know, you can still see the outdoor space. So I think I did the best given what I was given, which is not a whole lot. This was the bathroom that was inside of the hair salon. It actually, this is a very bright shot, but the, the bathroom itself was actually pretty dark when it wasn't being photographed. It isn't a terrible shot. And what if for whatever reason, they didn't repaint the bathroom. So it's kind of like, it was a gross photo if we tried to recreate the first photo with all the stuff taken out. So again, I wanted to show it in context. And that's our shot. It's kind of sad but they really wanted to reshoot the space without any indication that it was a hair salon because it was, what the agent was telling me was that it was too hard to sell the space because everyone couldn't see past the fact that it was a hair salon. Whatever, I'm happy to have done it. It's an interesting contrast, so yay us. So thank you for sitting in on this episode. If you like this type of content, if you like me doing the photo shoot and then breaking down the shots, then please like and subscribe. Well, like if you like the video, like just like the video, like me, like New York, like hair salons, like mean tenants, whatever. If you like, if you like anything, then like, like the video. If you wanna see more videos like this, then subscribe.
And then finally, if you want to be notified when I post a new video, then hit the bell. So, you know, I'm having a lot of trouble just coming up with funny endings while the credits are rolling. Are people going to expect me to put on a wig at the end of every video? Jimmy, you do realize this is only the third time you've done one of these skits. You're going to have to write like 800 more of these. I'm going to have to wear this fucking hot ass wig like 800 more times.